I am heading further down towards the southeast region of Turkey where the altitude starts to decrease. My exploration began in the exquisite Lake Van, where the Church of the Holy Cross is set on a tiny offshore reef. Eastern Turkey is an immensely rewarding place to travel, despite the long distances, outside of the major centers, and lack of creature comforts. Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to another video. I am currently in Van province located in the eastern part of Turkey and the Van province itself is quite famous for the Lake Van as you can see behind me because this is the biggest lake in Turkey if I'm not mistaken and they have quite high of salinity which means that the salt uh, content of the lake is quite high because there is very few of evaporation. largest lake in Turkey and the Armenian highlands receives water from many small streams from the surrounding mountains. Primarily tectonic lake formed more than 600,000 years ago. Its high salinity prevents it from freezing at such times. The island itself is quite small, right? But it's in the outskirts of the Van city. Uh, to get here, you have to go to Gevas by taking um, public transportation and take... not Van... <laughs> take a very small boat I think um, that costs 20 liras but if there is not enough um, passengers you can actually rent a boat for 250 liras and can share that with other people if you can see the limestone cliff behind me just behind of that church rises above 80 meter the above the sea level the lake itself is in quite high altitude of 16 or 1700 meters uh, yeah so it's incredible that's why you can easily see the spread out of the mountain Cathedral of the Holy Cross, or alternatively known as Akdamar Kalisasi in Turkish, was built in 921, depicting the marvels of Armenian architecture. The unique importance of the church comes from the extensive array of bas relief, carving of mostly biblical scenes that adorn its external walls. Behind me is the remaining and well preserved of Armenian church because the van provinces itself has a long history and this is one of the example um, what the building used to look like and it's magnificent isn't it wow i am inside of the church itself this is the 10th century church the frescoes are still well preserved. It's incredible. Like the dome. It's incredibly tranquil. It's quiet. You can just hear the very calm water as well as, 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 well as the birds chirping around, flying over, or even if you get lucky, you can see some rabbits. I think this is quite an underrated place, right? <laughs> I have always craved authentic travel experiences in more rural areas. After reaching out to many locals, I managed to get a recommendation to visit Kurdish oldest village in Bitlis province. Hello, good afternoon. It's been an almost entire day. The journey of going to this very old village, the Kurdish, the oldest Kurdish village. And I actually have been so lucky to be able to even be here in the first place. So I'll be staying in this particular village 
tonight until tomorrow and uh, I, I just flew the drone and I think <laughs> everyone got so excited so people came out of their house Abdullah biggest thank you to Abdullah you're very welcome. Anytime, more than welcome. You are guests here, so it's very important in our culture. Oh, it's yeah, fast. people uh, take care. <laughs> take care of their, their guests. guests yeah. Also, Mehmet right there. Mehmet, science teacher. Science. <laughs> also photographer. <laughs> Welcome to a lovely house of one of the family. I have no idea where I am, uh, in all honesty, but I am just so humbled, so lucky to be able to stay for one night with this particular family. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. Uh, so this is Barfield. This is Husna? Yes. yes. Ferat. Ferat. And they are serving me a walnut with tea and with all the kids. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I have been actually giving Husna the, the shawl, the perfume, and the jewelry. <laughs> so that now she can dress up. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. morning. Mm -hmm. Good night. And so the girls and I were sleeping in this room last night and uh, it was quite cold but I was warm enough to be able to sleep. Today we are going to see the village and hopefully we are able to see others, other locals and whatnot. And Barvin will uh, help me out to explore. This. I'm So this is the house that I was staying in last night and um, the kids are just following me around. <laughs> Which I was told that this is the oldest uh, village of, one of the oldest village of uh, Kurdish people. And you see the houses are made of stones and um, it's very rustic feeling and it's very tranquil um, located so remote deep in the mountain I don't even like I I have no internet connections so I can't really tell you where I am exactly <laughs> it looks like that this is the place where they are um, keeping their animals and I'm assuming that they will use the milk or whatever to use to be used for cheese and this is how we get to the particular place for them to keep the animals as you can see houses here are looking like they're stacked one to the other there are plenty of alleyways just to get to one house to the other and I can't help right inviting unexpectedly <laughs> all of the kids in this village because they're just so curious about who is this traveler coming all the way and so I can't really like shoo them away because they will follow every step I do 
<laughs> so I was just told that I'm trying not to fall. The village name is Kuch. I think the translation of that village, uh, the name of the village is uh, Long Rock, if I'm not mistaken. If you can see how much of time that it's like we're taking back because of the the looks of the houses and the the slow time i feel like the time here is slowing down so much which is great If you see a stack of stems of trees and everything, I think, I assume that they are using it for the winter um, heating system. Usually inside of the house, the heating system is rather still traditional and you would uh, burn the woods and everything. <laughs> I am a bit distracted, right? If I'm being honest, because all the kids are following me. Every movement that I do, I can't really think because they are here, they are there, they are everywhere. <laughs> bye bye, Evan. <laughs> yes, it's it's nice just like being able to see the locals right here um, and just like enjoying time and also appreciating the neighbors talking to one another. <laughs> It looks like what's behind me is rather the place where they would use the water for and the surrounding area to wash carpet. I see a carpet underneath the water but I don't know if that's what they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Kurds or Kurdish are Indo-European descent and are one of the indigenous peoples of the Mesopotamian plains and highlands. This area spans throughout southeastern Turkey, northwest Iran, northern Iraq, and northern Syria. <laughs> So I am here in the place where they freshly make the bread from scratch. <laughs> Name? Ekmek. Ek Ekmek. Ah, Shifa. 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 Ekmek. Ekmek. Chakir. 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 They have been so kind. Ekmek Chakir. They have been so kind to uh, allow me to film here a little bit and the process of making the bread. I think you are ought to be physically active in order for you to be able to uh, explore this particular Kuch village because there are plenty of stacks of stones as the stairs. This is the common living area of the house that I was staying at last night and during this winter time like this it gets colder for sure so we would be staying in one particular room that has uh, a bit more of a heating situation so it gets warmer and much more comfortable. As you open the window you get to see 
this just all around and also the kit can you see <laughs> i suppose this is the attic room where they storage they put everything as storage room so these are selections of not selections and collections of walnuts that i think they have gathered uh, as soon as the walnuts have fallen off the tree and usually served during tea tea break or probably after meal this is Husna preparing tea chai 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 <laughs> okay 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 yes yes oh <laughs> 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 Before leaving, Husna prepared the local dish for the family. This was my last meal before setting off to the next destination. So this is the bread that we saw in the making. And this is the lunch selection. Beef and bean stew. Mm. Pala and some yogurt. <laughs> That's pretty much about it guys for today's episode. A mix of my own experience in the Van province as well as in a remote village um, known as Kooch, one of the oldest Kurdish village in the southeastern part of Anatolia or Turkey. This idea came out very last minute because I've always tried to my tried my best to find um, authentic experiences, and sometimes I don't have enough contacts or appropriate contacts that allow me to have that experiences, if that makes sense. So um, this is like very very unexpected because one contact led to another and led to another and led to another and led to this village it humbles as well sense of humility as well as humanity um, showcased through these um, experiences exchange between foreigners between locals uh, despite the language barriers and I hope that this kind of experience also teaches you how to try to seek that kind of experience thank you so much again for watching if you really like this kind of video you want to support my work please check out my patreon link down in the description below that's where I post up to date that's where I post every special content that I don't post anywhere else thank you so much again see you next time bye 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 Thank you so much. The game tree. <laughs> oh, very, very, very happy. <laughs> oh, this is a goodbye hug. And all the kids are here to say goodbye pretty much. Gule, gule. Gule, gule.